Hello, welcome to the video on variables. This will be a lesson on this topic. And let's go ahead and take a look at some objectives we want to accomplish here. Um, first and foremost, I want to go ahead and define what a variable is to you. Okay, so that's kind of like my primary objective. But beyond that, what we want to be able to do is be able to write expressions with variables. Okay, we want to understand the difference between a variable and numeric expression. Then we're going to learn about this word, evaluate. Okay, and specifically we want to know how to, quote, evaluate a variable expression. So we got to figure out what that means. And then what I want to do is wrap this up by uh, quickly looking at some real life examples where uh, variables play a role. So let's get going here. Variables and the first grade. All right, so most of you out there have been doing algebra. You didn't even know it. Okay, so maybe back in the first grade or second grade or uh, back at elementary or primary school, you probably did a problem like this. Okay, maybe it was like a box plus 2 equals 5. All right, so I remember doing these type of problems, so our teacher said, okay, we'll figure out what has to go in that box to make this true. So we kind of think about that for a second and maybe use our fingers and toes and say, oh, this is 3. Okay, so 3 plus 2 equals 5. And of course, you got that right. You got a bunch of stars, maybe a smiley face, lollipop, or whatever, and you're like, yeah, this is fantastic. So really what you were doing, without even knowing uh, knowing it, you were doing algebra, okay? Because this box right here, that box is a symbol, okay? It's a symbol that represents a number. And in this case, it represents the number three, all right? But that was kind of like the problem, figure out what number that box represents. A variable is nothing more than a symbol, oftentimes a letter, um, that represents a number. Okay, so common variables in algebra are x, y, z, a, b, and so forth. But any symbol that represents a number um, is a variable. So as you continue to study math and, uh, and science, you'll, you'll even face some really cool uh, variables. I'll give you a few here. A little triangle like that is called delta. It's one. Call like this is epsilon. Here's a real famous one. Okay, most of you should hopefully recognize what that is. That is the symbol for um, for pi. Okay, it's a, it's a symbol. Right, it represents a number, and that number is 3.14, and on and on and on and on and on. Okay, so instead of writing this infinitely